Hello, my name is Pinera Rashadanu Rax, and my partner is Weirda Wan. Today, I'm going to introduce you to how to build up a remote control robot from scratch. The process will be done on Ubuntu, which will be installed on Raspberry Pi. So let's begin. So let's begin in the equipment part. The first one is Raspberry Pi. Second is its adapter. Third is the case for Raspberry Pi that come together with two fans. Fourth is micro SD card. Fifth is micro USB to HDMI adapter. Sixth is HDMI to VGA adapter. And the last one is some nuts. So first of all, let me introduce you to each part on Raspberry Pi. The first part is a part that can receive the Wi-Fi signal as the version of our Raspberry Pi is 4, so it can receive the Wi-Fi signal. And the second part is a port for USB Type-C. And these two ports are for HDMI adapter. This port is for the LAN Y and these four ports are for USB port. Two ports of these are for USB 3.0 and this one are for USB Type 2. These are the pins that will be connected with the wires. The first pin is pin for 3.3 volt, second is for 5 volt and third is ground pin. Next we will move to the case part. This case composes of two fans which can help Raspberry Pi to cool down when doing the process. This one is the case that we mentioned before. To start the process, first, we have to connect Raspberry Pi to the case with nuts. Then, we can continue to combine the case with two fans further. And this is the model after we combine every component together. I will talk a brief information about the adapter for Raspberry Pi. The amount of rated current that can drive this adapter should be more than 2.5 a meter. After we finish all of the installation session, we allow to insert micro SD card into Raspberry Pi to add some information. Then we check our system to test that our Raspberry Pi really works or not. Then we add the information in the micro SD card and try the system with a talker and listener node. We found that it can echo to each other as shown in the screen. So it means that it is ready to add more complex nodes. When software part is ready, let's move to the hardware session, which we will build the mini tank robot up. Let's see what are inside the box. First up is the manual. Second is some wise. Third is Arduino. Fourth is model model. Fifth is some nuts. Sixth is the view build. Seven is stop assist. It is also a small box inside, so let's see. This box contains motor drive. Arduino wise, screw diver, some nuts, spiral cable, some wires, and the last stop is robot structure. 
Then we started to gather all components to build robot up. After we have finished in preparing software and hardware session, we are ready to continue further process. The video that we provide in next chapter are the tests that we have to do before getting remote control robot. So let's see. For the first test that will be done is encoder test, which we will attach encoder with two wheels, left and right. It is a stuff that can track the speed of each wheel and also estimate the distance for the robot. Second test is motor test, which we can control motor to move forward or backward from the course in Arduino node. When it's moved in forward or backward direction, the direction of two wheels will go in the same direction as I show on the screen. And power supply that we use in this case is a power bank. As encoder and motor have to work together to get the values of speed in each wheel, so after we finish testing both encoder and motor separately, and be certain that there are no problem, we can combine this code together and run to show left and right count on serial monitor in Arduino program. The next test is a gyro test, which we will attach gyroscope in the middle of the slam in order to detect speed of the rotation from accelerometer sensor. In this case, it will display the results of linear acceleration divided by angular acceleration from gyroscope on the serial monitor as well. When the basic nodes are installed in the system, let's control the direction of a robot from telops twist. So, when we press the key of I, it means that a robot will move forward. However, if we press the left hand symbol, it will move backward. In these two cases, left and right wheels continue to move in the same way. But if we want to turn left and right, the direction of these two wheels will move in different way. Gyro test is similar to the previous gyro test that we have done before, but the different point is it shows more details, which are the angular acceleration in x, y, and z direction. If the gyroscope has a movement, the values of the angle will change. Next, with the gyro test in Ubuntu, to put the program to recheck that the gyroscope really works. We run the process through Raspberry Pi on Putty, which contains four terminals. First terminal we run Lost Call. Second we run Lost Launch. Third terminal is for Lost Topic, which we echo CMD with underscore veil. And the last terminal, we run last topic to echo IMU. So, when we control robot from our keyboard, it will show the results of the linear acceleration and angular velocity. This process can be tested by Taylor Twist node, as I shown you in here.
last but not least, we have to do the RP LiDAR test in order to make sure that robot can detect the obstacle by emitting laser light. When it is scanning, its head will turn around like this and the obstacle that it found will be shown as a red area on the screen. Then afterward, we control our robot with tele-op twist again and echo odom which is the axis of our robot in order to check its position, orientation, linear acceleration and angular velocity. After the input the essential node for getting a remote control robot and do many tests to make sure that this node and components very work, let's move to Kyber session in order to reshape overall system of our robot. First, we start the calibration with encoder and motor test, which it will detect speed and direction of views. This screenshot is a shot that we took while checking the values of power width mod in the left and right view after we optimize the values. Next, we do loss topic list to check whether every node is ready or not. Then. We control the direction of the robot from tail up to its node. Last step is we have to echo encoder left and right into terminals in order to get the values of each view. And this is a screenshot when we compare the values of two views as you can see that these two values should be similar to each other as much as possible so that we can get the most accuracy result. Second, we have to calibrate distance and angle, which rely on odometry topic. So, when we hit the key I, robot will move forward along odom acid around 1 meter, then it will stop. It will also show the position and orientation of a robot on the screen. Then, we move to calibrate its angle, whether it can turn 90 degree or not. And yes, it can turn 90 degree. After we found that the distance and angle calibration do not have any problem, it indicates that the GMAP that will be saved in this step will not ship as well. So, we started to control robot from tail up to wrist to walk around the white area. The laser light will scan and create black boundary, which determined to be obstacle. Then, we save the map by the map server command. And finally, we reach to the last calibration, which is in SLAM part. In this part, it is a part that we do remote navigation. We can control the direction from 2D NaviGo, which is a command on computer screen instead of using keyboard control. As it is a process that GMAP and MOVE-based node are working together, the tail of this node is unnecessary now. The move base node will send velocity to Arduino node, 
and then afterward Arduino responded by creating movement on two wheels. So we hit this button and then drag the mouse in the direction that we want our robot to go. If we drag the arrow in straight line, the robot will go straight. And if we drag the arrow to the left or right direction, it will follow the way that we choose. One of the important points of this part is if it detects an obstacle, it will find a way to keep away from obstacle by itself, as I shown you on the screen. Alright, and that's all for today. Hope this video could bring you to know more how to build up a remote control robot. Thank you so much for watching.